Rahim in the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Australian International Islamic College community, I would like to welcome you all for this official groundbreaking <laughs> groundbroken no groundbreaking ceremony. <laughs> it will be broken, yes. And I would like to thank you all for your presence here today. Some of you have taken the effort to come from, from the Gold Coast and others from all the way in Inala. So to start off the program, we would like to open up with the blessings of the recitation of the Qur'an. The student that will be reading um, the recitation of the Qur'an is Umar al-Shahri. He is an international student and has been at the college for 10 years, since he's been in year one. He has an exceptional academic record and he would like to share with you some verses of the Quran. Thank you very much. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ar rahman علم القرآن خلق الإنسان علمه البيان الشمس والقمر بحسبان والنجم والشجر يسجدان والسماء رفعها ووضع الميزان ألا تطغوا في الميزان وأقيموا الوزن بالقسط ولا تخسروا الميزان والأرض وضعها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنخل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو العصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صلصال كالفخار وخلق الجان من مارج من نار فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful The most merciful taught the Qur'an, created man, and taught him eloquence. The sun and the moon move by precise calculation, and the stars and trees prostrate. And the heaven he raised and imposed the balance. 
that you not transgress within the balance. And establish weight in justice and do not make deficient the balance. And the earth he laid out for the creatures. Therein is fruit and palm trees having sheets of dates and grain having husks and scented plants. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? He created man from clay like that of pottery and he, cre and he created jinn from a smokeless flame of fire. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? He is Lord of the two sunrises and Lord of the two sunsets. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? He released the two seas, meeting side by side. Between them is a barrier, so neither of them transgresses. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? From both of them emerge pearl and coral. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? And to him belong the ships with sails elevated in the sea like mountains. So which of the favors of your Lord would you deny? Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to acknowledge the presence of some of our respective, um, respected um, visitors, distinguished guests that have joined us here today, that have taken their time and we thank them very much for that. We have our Parkinson Ward Councillor Angela um, Owen Taylor. Thank you very much for coming. Also, um, the BGA Block Grant Authority General Manager, Dr. Grant Watson. Thank you very much for coming. And also, Mr. Duncan Pegg, the representative of Premier Anastasia Padashek. Thank you very much for coming. Ladies and gentlemen, since the inception of the college in 2002, the college has been committed towards educating the community with Australian values, empowerment programs, and the commitment towards community service for the Queensland people. Since the beginning, Mr. Shahid Khan has been there guiding us, giving us guidance and support throughout the whole journey. It gives me great pleasure to call upon our education advisor, Mr. Shahid Khan. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We deem in the name of God, who is most gracious, who provides all we need without asking, and most grace, most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May God shower His blessing, mercy, and favors upon you in abundance. Many of you have come here to join this ceremony especially during the school holiday, have made a lot of effort and sacrifice to be here. We'd like to thank you for that. On behalf of the Managing Director of the College, Daru Jafar Sadiq, and the founder of the Australian International Islamic College, Imam Abdul Qudus Azhari, and us all, we are deeply appreciative and offer you our most grateful welcome. We are deeply honored to welcome representative of the federal, state, and local government, namely Samantha Hasselhurst, representing the Federal Minister of Education, Duncan Pick, the state MP, representing Queensland Premier Anastasia Pelashe, and Councillor Angela Taylor Hong, representing Lord Mayor of the University Council. Would like to acknowledge receiving capital building funds from the federal and state government towards the prep and lab rebuilding project. We are very pleased to welcome the most friendly staff of the VGA Block Grant Authority, including Dr. Graham Watson, General Manager, and Rod, Maris, Rod Morris, Executive Officer. Thank you for your continued cooperation and support towards our building programs. We are pleased to welcome Mariana Lane, <laughs> representing David Robertson, of who, uh, Chairman of Independent School Association of Queensland. Welcome Mariana and thank you very much for all the help you have given me in keeping the, our overseas student registration. Thank you. It is our pleasure to welcome our dedicated staff of the college, including the principal, Mariam Banwa. 
and our staff, teachers, imams, respected parents, and last but least, our precious students who are anxiously awaiting to get to use quality library, which will be built, inshallah, by the end of the year. We are in great debt to the elder builders who were selected two years ago through a public tender process. Dean Sheffield and um, Rob Rogers are here. I welcome you. Please accept our sincere thanks for your patience and commitment to complete the project after so many uh, months. Today is all about starting construction of the most needed library and prep building. We invite you to see the design of the building concept design which has been displayed on the TV as well as on few of the screens. Prep classrooms are very large, almost 110 square meters, plus kitchen amenities so, and storage and outside covered play area. The library building is divided into four functional areas. On the extreme left you have got the junior library section. In the middle, we have got a quiet student to study area, and we have got also on the right hand side at the end audio visual room. And in between, we have got the lots and lots of library uh, resources shelving, providing a quasi separation between its functional areas. We urge you to look at the display of the prep and library building. Now, we conclude the welcoming address by saying welcome and thank you for attending this function. Have a great day and enjoy groundbreaking function. Assalam, thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Circumstances, um, the Parliamentary Secretary uh, to the Minister of Education, Honorable Senator Scott Ryan is unable to be here. However, he has um, taken the effort to convey a message and that message will be conveyed by uh, Mrs. Samantha Hazelhurst. Thank you very much. Good morning. It gives me great pleasure to read this message on behalf of Senator the Honourable Scott Ryan, the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister for Education and Training, addressed to the community of the Australian International Islamic College. On behalf of the Australian Government, I congratulate the Australian International Islamic College on your groundbreaking ceremony to commence works on your preparatory and library building. I'm sorry I cannot be with you today as it is a significant and exciting day to witness the very beginnings of an infrastructure project. I commend everyone who has been involved in getting the project to this point. The Australian Government has provided $307,000 under the Capital Grants Program towards the construction of the Prep and Library Building. The Australian Government believes that students come first. A good education gives our young people opportunity to achieve personal success and contribute to our nation. Your new Prep and Library Building will represent the Government's commitment to provide all Australian students with the infrastructure that will help them learn and equip them to enter an increasingly challenging world. Thank you to the Australian International Islamic College staff for your commitment to improving the opportunities for students. The government will continue to work with schools, teachers, students, parents and the entire school community so that the students have the tools to succeed in their chosen field of endeavour and reach their potential. Yours sincerely, Scott Ryan. Australian International Islamic College will um, acknowledge this, um, this, these kind words and send a thank you note and we thank um, Mr. Um, Mr. Scott Ryan for his efforts. Um, I, I would like to call upon our principal. Um, our principal, Mrs. Banwa, has been a significant um, part of our organization since the beginning. As part and um, a member of the school development programs for the independent schools Queensland, Mrs. Banwa has achieved significant um, records and 
in progress at our school. Mrs. Banwa has been instrumental towards change and progress in our school since the beginning and it gives me great privilege and honor to call her upon to say a couple of words. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mohammed. <coughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum <coughs> wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Respected Imams, Imam Abdul Quddus Azhari, our founder, board members, distinguished guests, Councillor Angela Owen Taylor, Mr. Duncan Pegg, representing the Premier, Dr. Grant Watson, <coughs> General Manager from Block Grant Authority, Mr. Rod Morris, Finance Executive BGA, Mariana Lane, Project Manager for International Students. I would also like to acknowledge Mr. Indra Hassan, representative from the Government of Indonesia, who is to arrive soon. Staff and my dear students, it gives me great pleasure this morning to welcome you all on this very, very pleasant occasion, our groundbreaking ceremony for our prep and library buildings. We value and appreciate you making yourselves available to, jo to join us here today. I feel very privileged to be here to mark the beginning of the third phase of our building projects. We are very proud as a college to have acquired the much needed educational facilities for our students. And today's proceedings would not have been made possible without the support of state and federal government funding. And more importantly, the guidance, the advice, and contributions of Dr. Grant Watson and his team from Block Grant Authority. We are very, very appreciative of the generous fun funding offered to the college to facilitate the much needed learning facilities. Please join me all in acknowledging the assistance received by this amazing team. A big round of applause to Dr. Watson and members from BGA. <clears throat> These buildings that provide an educational platform for our students and the community are more than a material contribution. It is more than a physical event with bricks and mortar. I strongly believe that it is a platform that provides those who utilizes it with endless potential and opportunities. Australian International Islamic College has great potential and I confidently announce that with great strides Great progress has been made in this college over the past 13 years. AIIC will always endeavor to guide its students to utilize the knowledge gained at our college to reach their full, fullest potential and to contribute positively to the wider Australian community, to make them lifelong learners and to be wise citizens of this wonderful country, Australia. This groundbreaking ceremony symbolizes that vision of ours. It is indeed true that from little things, big things grow. Once again, thank you all for your support. It is with your support and involvement that our educational facilities will flourish and produce Australian graduates we can all be proud of. Thanks to the Almighty for his blessings upon us and may he grant us the strength to succeed in our future endeavors insha'Allah. I wish you all a wonderful and an enjoyable day. Thank you very much. Over the last seven years, Jurak and surrounding neighborhoods and suburbs 
have witnessed significant development and upgrades towards its infrastructure. The upgrades in zoning, traffic flow, parks, environmental conservation, and the restoration towards its surrounding suburbs. All of this has been through the efforts and the watch and the dedication of our councillor, Angela Owen Taylor. It gives me great pleasure to call upon Angela to say a couple of words, and we thank her very much for her presence here today. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. It gives me great pleasure to be here today for this very significant occasion. Could I commence by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather and pay my respects to elders past and present. To Mr Duncan Pegg, the State Member for Stretton representing the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, respected Imams, to all of the um, Mr Shahid Khan and the board members, representatives of the Block Grant Authority, all other distinguished guests, parents, family members, students and especially Principal Mrs Mariam Bamwa. This is a very important day for the Australian Islamic, International Islamic College and also for the Ward of Parkinson. This new prep and library building is going to be another stage in a very important international education facility here in our local area but also for our city of Brisbane. I know Imam Kouros has been um, overseas with the Lord Mayor on trade missions and, and talking to people about the importance of international education to our city. But particularly from a local level, this prep and library building is going to be a wonderful facility for the students who attend this college. And I would like to say that over the past seven years, I know how hard the development committee of this college has worked on its vision for this school and to bring about the fruition of this next building. It is just the next phase in a big growth program for this college. And I know that in years to come, the college will continue to excel as it has done over the past seven years in particular. There are so many people behind the scenes who quietly go about on, in a level of persistence in making these things come about and, and making sure that they happen for the benefit of the students and the families and the community. And if it wasn't for those people and their hard work, we wouldn't be here today. And those people on that development committee for the college have also had the support of many people from also from council, from the state government, from the federal government and the block grant authority and the Australian Independent Schools group as well. So there's been so many people who've been working hard to bring this about. And so for all of you students, I know you're going to enjoy this facility and some of you may have younger brothers or sisters that may be coming into the prep building in years to come. And I think that this is going to be an added extension to the ever-growing family here at the Australian International Islamic College. So congratulations on this groundbreaking ceremony. I know how much hard work has gone into getting it to this point. And can I say that I have a book in my office that is um, the story of Lost Brisbane. And on the day that we actually open those library doors, I would like to say now that I would like to dedicate that book as being the first book that goes into that library for you. So you have your first resource ready to go into that, um, into that library. And you know, to all of you students, Please make the most of the educational opportunities that will come out of that library. I'm a very great reader of books and I know many of, your, of the students actually participate in our Council Gold Star Reading Program. So um, I'm sure that we will have lots of reading going on um, through the school year but also in the school holidays. But um, to everyone who's been involved, thank you for, this, for your support of this very important building and um, I look forward to uh, seeing it on its opening day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Councillor, and we thank you very much for your support. You've been um, quite instrumental for the progress of this college, and we look forward to working with you closer in the future. We also would like to acknowledge and thank all the organisations that have helped the college to prosper. One of the great organisations 
is the independent schools Queensland, Mariana Lane. Thank you very much for representing David Robertson. He has been quite instrumental in helping our school in it to progress. And also, most importantly, for this day, the Block Grant Authority, Dr. Grant Watson. Thank you very much for coming. Dr. Grant Watson has been with our school from the beginning. He has been very, very helpful, very patient with us, and been offering solutions and providing us with suggestions on how we can improve, how we can get um, better funding, and also make sure that we use the resources to the best of our ability. We thank him so much for his support, and it gives me great honor, and it's a great privilege to have David, uh, Dr. Grant Watson with us today. Thank you very much. Councillor Angela, Mr. Duncan, Imam Abdul, I noticed you dozing there. Other respected Imams that are here, Mr. Khan, uh, Principal Miriam, and I met another Miriam just a little while ago that's returned. Isn't that great? Board members, and there's some of you here I see around the place, although there's a couple missing, and I mean, we remember those that aren't here. Um, Dean and Rob from Alders Construction, I can't miss you guys out. I don't want you to go anywhere. <laughs> Distinguished guests, students and staff, friends and supportive of AISC, I wish you a very good morning. It is my honour and privilege to join you today for this groundbreaking ceremony which celebrates the visible beginning of a new milestone in the journey of this college. This demonstrates the strong commitment of visionary people that sit around here today. These visions that they have for the college are gradually becoming fulfilled in their time. We gather to celebrate not just a groundbreaking for a new building, but this really is the beginning of another chapter in your story. A story that ba began back in 2002 uh, when you, the school started at Biranda. And then you grew out, grew those facilities and you came out here and today you have three campuses with a total enrolment of over 615 students from 35 different countries and cultures. This is indeed a joyous occasion, especially for the many of you who have been personally involved in conceptualizing and shaping these buildings. And they have changed shape a number of times. And today as we commemorate this brown breaking for this inspirational and critically needed building, we celebrate amongst friends. Friends who share your vision and aspirations for the future of the college. Friends who recognise the unique role that AIIC plays in the education of these students here and all their fellow students who are enjoying holidays while they are here sitting here trying to listen to me. <laughs> Friends who are leaders in education, in government, in commerce, and all the other professions who will inspire the next generation to make their own notable contributions as leaders in the various communities in our state of Queensland. And of course friends and donors who have stepped up to expand their levels of support to make this dream come true. And while we are just breaking ground and that's all we're doing today, it is far Today is far from the beginning of this project, as has been already mentioned. In fact, the early steps has been years in making. In 2010, now some of you were only little babies back in 2010, it was so long ago, weren't you? The BGA recommended to the State Minister of Education the construction of a library area and amenities costing $1.11 million. The Minister supported the project with a grant of $480,000, and I guess you might refer to that uh, later on, Duncan. 
In 2011, the very next year, the BGA visited again, and this time recommended to the Commonwealth and the State Minister. And we've heard from uh, Senator Ryan. The, uh, the construction of uh, three prep classrooms, undercroft, offices, amenities, kitchens, photocopy rooms, resource rooms, and a covered area. The estimated cost of that building was 1.465 million. And the Commonwealth Minister offered $307,000 towards that, and the State Minister granted $308,000. These buildings must enhance every aspect of your academic program. They must be used to raise the expectations both inside and outside of the classrooms. And it must provide students with advanced and extended learning opportunities. Every student, whether they are a struggling learner or a gifted high achiever, will be aided to perform to higher levels because of these buildings. It is said that a rising tide lifts all ships. And while we recognise that every student learns differently, and that differential instruction in classrooms should become the norm for all teachers, so we can address these different learning styles, we must remember that whether, they are become, whether these students become a poet or an actor, an engineer or a doctor, a politician or a counsellor, or even a teacher, they all start and are nurtured in the same classroom. So the ceremony today is in honour of the great step along the path to achieving one of your goals. It took many years, a great amount of effort and work in order to bring you here. However, this is not the end of your journey. There are some more buildings that we should be doing this for in the not too distant future. We stand here as this today as just one milestone, one chapter in a whole book of events that's going to happen. And I can say that the path that lies ahead is undoubtedly littered with obstructions, they always are. However, by way of being here today, I can see that you have overcome obstacles before. And you can do it again. You cannot become complacent. You must continue to persevere, to push on with even more effort than ever before. And isn't it amazing But patience is a virtue? Finally, I pray that all those who work on this project will be kept safe from accident and the building process will be without incident. And I look forward to standing here with you upon the successful completion of this project and in joining you as you have a ceremony to cut the ribbon so we can all walk inside the finished product. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Grant. The Australian International Islamic College has endeavoured to produce functioning, productive citizens of this country. The Australian International Islamic College, with its resources, have tried to integrate members of society to become harmonious, productive and constructive members. Let me just narrate to you a story that we have witnessed that our teachers have been instrumental in, in creating these results. In 2010 and 2011, we had a group of migrants asylum seekers and detention students that had come to our college. They had come with no English whatsoever. And it was through the leadership of Mrs. Banwa that guided these students towards an intensive ESL program and then provide the mainstream schooling. By the end of 2000, and 13, some of these students graduated from year 12. Four of these students that came from 
refugee backgrounds qualified with QUT and UQ scholarships. Two of them had qualifications and OP standings to study medicine and engineering. These are the results that we have provided for our community, for the Australian society and for our Queensland government. Also, we would like to also rem uh, remind you that it is important to remember the efforts of those people that have helped us throughout this way. The Independent Schools Queensland, the Block Grant Authority, and also the Queensland Government. From the establishment of the school, the school has enjoyed and celebrated a healthy relationship with the state and federal government. The school has hosted and held many occasions where the former Anna Bly, former Premier Anna Bly has come. Former Premier Campbell Newman has visited us and seen the improvements and seen the progress that our school has made. The school, the school, the Australian International Islamic College is actively working towards working with the Queensland government to create productive and functioning multi, a multicultural society for the Australian and Queensland people. And as a representative of the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, it gives me great pleasure and honour to, to call upon Duncan Pegg to say a few words. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. I'd like to start by acknowledging the traditional owners and paying my respects to elders past and present. I'd like to acknowledge Councillor Angelo and Taylor, our respected imams, founder of the college, Im Imam Abdul Kudusa Azari, college principal, Mrs. Banwa, Indra Hassan, representative from the government of Indonesia, uh, Dr. Watson, uh, Mr. Shahid Khan, board members, distinguished guests, uh, staff and students, and can I say to the choir, that was a couple of fantastic performances, well done. I'm delighted to be here today on behalf of Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk. Uh, the Premier sends her very best wishes to you all on this most important occasion. Today's groundbreaking ceremony for a new library and preparatory building is a key milestone in the short but successful history of the Australian International Islamic College. Your school has shown impressive growth since it was founded just 13 years ago. I'm told that 100% of Year 12 students from the 2014 class achieved an OP score of between 1 and 15. I'm also told that more than 50% of students earned scholarships from Bendigo Bank, the University of Queensland or QUT. I understand that the school performed above the state average in a number of external assessment programs including NAPLAN, ICAS and the Australian Mathematics Competition. So congratulations to you all. Very well done. This month celebrates the 100th anniversary of the landing of Australian troops at Gallipoli. Two weeks from today, the Queensland Anzac Day Commemoration Committee will hold its annual student Anzac ceremony. And for the first time ever, an Islamic school has been invited to represent all Southeast Queensland schools at this prestigious event. And as you all know, uh, that school is your school, so congratulations on that. Uh, congratulations to Afra Yusuf, who will be delivering a speech, and also to Omar Al-Shari, Sumaya Gedik, and Sulay Kiza, who will be reciting Anzac-related poems. The fact that four students from the Australian International Islamic School will be representing all South East Queensland students at this important ceremony underlines how far we have come as a multicultural society. But while we have made a lot of progress, I know that these are tough times for people of the Islamic faith. Each night on the news, it seems another act of terror is reported in the name of Islam and all peace-loving Muslims around the world are unfairly blamed and branded. I want you all to know that the Queensland Government is committed to and supportive of all Queenslanders, irrespective of cultural or faith background. Queensland's Muslim communities have the strong support of the Palaszczuk Government. Members of Queensland's Muslim community have made enormous contributions to the economic, social and cultural well-being of our state and in our multicultural society, an attack on any community is an attack on the whole community. 
An attack on anyone's faith is an attack on all faiths. More than ever, we need to stand together. The issue of young Muslim men joining ISIS cannot be ignored. We understand that one of the reasons young people are drawn to ISIS is that they don't feel as though they belong in this society. We need to invest in them so they do feel part of the community. Inclusiveness is the key to overcoming alienation and sectarianism. I congratulate the Australian International Islamic College on the work you do in promoting inclusiveness and promoting engagement with the wider community. Your involvement in multi-faith ceremonies and your openness to people of all faiths and backgrounds is to be applauded. The Queensland Government supports you in this. Let's all work together to build a society that promotes inclusiveness and harmony. As I said, now more than ever, we need to stand together. In conclusion, I wish the Australian International Islamic College every success with your new library and preparatory building. Thank you very much. Drag 
تجھ کو میں دل رازانی امراض تو اللہ 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 اللہ